Merry me, this is Jenny with Jenny Demonic, and today we are going to talk about demonology, and we're, I've been wanting to do that for a long time actually, and we've always gotten very busy, and we are also going to start with C3. We're going to have a series in, in our channel about that, uh, but before we get into that, a couple of things. Uh, we're getting ready to celebrate 4th of July in the U.S. So to all of you who are located in the U.S. and are about to celebrate 4th of July, please remember to be safe. Please remember to wear a mask. It is not a political issue. Please remember to keep your family and yourself safe from the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you. And then the second, the second thing that I want to talk about uh, really quickly. So we closed the comments down here, and they are only by approval because we have, we were receiving a lot of comments that had a sexually explicit, oh, sexually explicit con content. And we cannot have that in the U.S., guys. I, I know that you guys are, you know, from all over the world, and maybe in your country it is legal, but in the U.S. it's not. Also, another thing that I have to say is that if you send us an email uh, asking us to cast on uh, on a minor, and, and specifically for sexual reason, we will have to decline and we will not respond because having sex with a minor in the u.s is illegal so we will not respond we are law-abiding citizens and we will not respond to anything that that is in regard something that in the u.s is illegal so mind you you are emailing someone in the u.s so we have to follow the laws there are here. Also, uh, this is a service that we provide. You hire us for a service, and so that means we charge you. But if you do it on your own, we have lots of videos, and, and you, we give you the resources to do this on your own. Uh, but if you email us saying, I want to spell, then you need to order, because that's, uh, we're, we're, there's seven of us. Uh, and, in lieu of that, we give you a lot of videos where you can do things on your own, and that's perfectly fine. Now let's get into today's uh, lesson. Today's lesson is about C3. C3 is a demonic entity. C3 is a prince of the Geisha, and it's a, um, a higher-ranked prince. And he is uh, one that we summon very often. In fact, we have a special that will be going on this weekend for uh, someone in Citri and others uh, for uh, love, for full moon. But you can do this on your own with Citri alone. What do you need to summon Citri? First of all, let me tell you, Citri is a bit of a sexist guy. I love Citri, but he responds very well when the target is a woman and that's a man that wants her. So uh, a lot of spells that we offer sometimes are, you know, work better on men and when a woman asks for the man. And what Citri is the other way around. Citri really listens to men who want women to come to them. So. A lot of uh, male clients that we have, they say, well, Jen, why is it that your spells work better on men when it's a woman that's requesting it than for, for women? Like when the target is a woman, we're having a little bit more trouble. And that's exactly why. So Citri is your guy. If you are wanting a woman to have sex with you, Citri is definitely your guy. So why are we summoning Citri? Citri is known to bring love to, to men and women. But in reality, Citri brings sex to men and women. And in particular to men, Citri brings women to men. Uh, if you are um, looking for gay love, uh, Citri is not your guy. We're going to talk about uh, what you can do for gay love that uh, can help you with other demons. But Citri, again, is not your guy. Citri is for mainly for a man who wants to have sex with women. 
there's a catch to this. Citri is also the demon of uh, fertility in a way because if you summon Citri continuously, you will notice that there's a possibility that this woman gets pregnant. If you do not want to have children, then Citri is not your demon. Uh, it should be more Zafar. But uh, we can also talk about that. What do you need to summon Citri? Let's go through that. So the first thing that you need to summon Citri is what you see here. This is a sigil. Now you can decide to print one out and keep it on your altar. You can decide to draw the sigil like we do on candles. This is a far. This is not Citri. This is just an example of how you can draw the sigil here, but Citri wants red, red candles, and we're going to talk about that. So the first thing that you need is a sigil, whether you draw it on a piece of paper, you draw it maybe with a, a black pen marker on a red candle, or you draw it, or you print it out, you need this. And then um, the next thing that you need is a circle. So you're gonna have like a little dresser, a little table, and around the table, you will have to have something like this, and which is not practical, right? Because you're at home. So I'm assuming that a lot of you not, are not gonna want, we have that in the temple, it's pretty big, but obviously in the home, you're not gonna wanna have that. So I would say you print this out or you draw this out and you put it next to the citrus sigil, so citrus sigil pentagram here, and instead uh, on the floor, you get a huge extension cord and you put it around you and make sure the two, uh, the two ends of the extension cord touch. So you close the circle and do not, do not get out of the circle for any reason until you are ready to dismiss your demon. So at the end of the ritual, you say, thank you, Citri, for being here with me. You are dismissed. Thank you. And wait a couple of seconds, allow for the demon to leave, and then you break the cord, you break the circle, and you get out. Do not get out to answer the phone, to open the door, to go to the bathroom. Make sure you do everything before, because once you enter the circle, you need to stay in there, unless you want very bad things happening to you. This is not a game. You need to be very disciplined about this. So then you need a scrying mirror. That's the next thing that you need. A scrying mirror is basically a black mirror. So you will have the candles. In the case of a citri, they will have to be red. You will have the incense. In the case of a citri, he prefers cedar incense. And uh, you will have the scrying mirror and you will have the sigil of citri and the pentagon here. So all together here with all the candles. For the candles, if you're doing a love work with invocation of uh, Citri, we recommend this candle, which is the Adam and Eve figure candle. Now this is too much. Um, you can find this candle for like $12, $13 on Amazon. You're gonna need three. This is why our rituals get expensive, right? But if you want to do a love work on a woman and you're a man, someone in C tree, you can burn three of this at the same time. You put her name here and your name on the back, going from the bottom up, remember? And then you, you start summoning C tree. Uh, when you're summoning C tree, the first thing that you're going to say is the M, and I'm going to put it right below. It's Lerash Alora Vefa C tree, and you're going to have to say that about a hundred times, very fast, very fast, to get you into that meditative state. There are also on YouTube, uh, if you put on YouTube uh, C trees M, there will be someone who says that M uh, multiple times for you. And then after 
you have said the end all those times. You have lit the candles and are watching the candles burn in front of you while you're saying, while you're summoning C tree. Some people, some people like to remain silent a little after the end to see if they can feel the presence of citrus. Some of them do, even when they are beginners. And then you will have to chant uh, citrus, 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 citrus. Be thy will in my will. Be thy mind in my mind. Be thy spirit in my flesh. So as thou wilt, so be it upon me, so more it be, command thou me. And you, you chant that multiple times. I'm going to put that below. So this is not really a beginning casting, as you can tell. Uh, this is a more like an advanced level. Once you have chanted several times the formula that I just uh, told you, then you can speak to, uh, freely to see, to see tree ask for permission and say, Citri, may I speak to you? Prince Citri, may I speak to you? May I give you my request? And then you just talk to him and say, this is my woman. This is the woman that I want. I, you know, she comes to me, speak in present tense as if things were happening. Let's just call her Jane Doe. Jane Doe comes to me. Jane Doe wants to have sex with me all the time. James, Jane Doe takes her clothes off in front of me. Everything in present tense as if things were happening already. And then once you are done, say thank you, Citri, for granting my request. Thank you, Citri, for being here with me today. You are dismissed. You may go now. And then you wait a few seconds. And then you can break the circle. And the, it is best to, Citri uh, uh, is a day demon. It is best to be summoned in the day or early morning. And, uh, and then you go about your day. I suggest you do a cleansing once in a while if you intend to summon C3 for uh, at least three days. Um, and cleanse yourself afterwards. We have a cleansing video if you look uh, in the back. And that will be all for the monology. Next time we're going to talk about, uh, let's see if we can do so far. So C3 is sex with children. So C3 brings sex, uh, but also brings pregnancy sometimes, where applicable, obviously. If your woman is menopausing, obviously that's not gonna happen. But for the most part, C3 brings children. Zafar, which we're gonna talk about next, next time, Zafar does not bring children, just sex. So it is your choice, which one you want. Citri works both on men and women, but works best when the target is a woman. So for men, this is ideal. You can do this and see what uh, Citri brings to you. And some people, some people do get sick uh, when, uh, when they vote Citri right after. So be mindful of that. It is possible that it is possible that there could be um, some backlash. Uh, I don't uh, recommend that you do this. I recommend that you come to us. But yes, we are. You know, we we do this. This is our profession, and that could be expensive. So if you want to try this, this is what you're going to do. Thank you for being here with me today. I will post this and uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye.